My name is Chris Lane Jones, and this is the first lesson of JCT eLearning School. Briefly, I'm going to go through and show you how to use Canva, which I believe is one of the best websites I've seen, definitely the best of 2017 at making flyers, event flyers, logos, you name it, anything that needs a design or um, just you want to look nice and presentable and doesn't look like you're five-year-old kid just type something into Word, Microsoft Word, and just, if you want something nice that's like a, a letterhead kind of look or an event flyer, is literally the best place on earth to go. Okay, so how you go to it, you just type in can, and then va, it's like the word can, and VA, like uh, Virginia, and you click that, and then when you go there, you can sign up with Facebook, if you don't have Facebook, that's okay. You can sign up with Google. If you don't have Google, that's okay too. And you can either, you can even sign up with your email, which is perfectly fine. And you sign up. I am not going to do this because I already have a Canva account. So let's go to that. So this is my account here. Um, so this is what my account here it has all my um, some of the stuff I've worked on. So how you go to templates, uh, I would go to explore templates. This is the best place to go to find stuff. And literally you can just click on these and edit any of these you see here. I'm going to go to, so you can make anything, book covers, bookmarks, gosh. I'm going to go to flyers because that seems to be the thing. You can even do car wash. See it's showing sub menus for flyers. I mean, you could even do Bubble Boy. You could be the Bubble Boy, literally. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do Event as the one I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna do. You know, I'll do Ocean of Memories. Um, so if you click here, you click on it. This guy gives you. Oh, uh, this is what my flyer. I made this so you can edit it and do whatever you want. So let's say, okay, you're having a cruise ship with the family or you're going to go out on one of those casino cruises and I don't know. So, or just like maybe a fishing trip or, or Dan's birth, surprise birthday, Dan's. So all you do is literally click on these boxes and then you can edit the text. Dan's birth day. I'll show you what I did and then I click away, click here. Ocean or deep sea fish party. It already moved it. I didn't have to do anything. It moved it to the next line. Easy. And I click away and there. There it is. And I can change the date. I just click here. You see this? Can also, it gives you options to alignment and options, color. I want it to be, I want it to be blue. And then I can say the date. It's not 2018. It's 12. Now let's do 03 March. March the. Th Third, what am I doing? See so if an egghead like me can do this, you can do this too. Okay. And you can change it to any size. You got a lot of font option. Do this font called Limelight, but it looks not so great. So I'm going to go back to what the font they had shows up at the top. Oh no, it shows up there. Okay. So it is there and then you can um, obviously change the size like you do most software and then you can move it out with this little move tool. So all it is is click, click here and it gives me the move tool on the sides. You can even rotate it. 
I wouldn't recommend that. You know, all that, all those options are right there for you. And I do not like this color. I think I'm going to go back to black. So all you do is click it. I say highlight it, which you don't even really have to highlight it, and just hit this black. Click away. Boom. It's there. So Dan's birthday deep sea fish party. Look how cool that looks. Um, so you can even add a fish. And you could just click here. So you click this one called elements. You could just type in the word fish. And literally you can just, some of these they make you pay for. See pro, pro, pro. That, they usually, I mean, one of this is one US dollar. So you can always find images offline. You can drag any image off your computer. So let's say I had, go to Google and just typed in fish. And then, or fishing. And click here, click images. Guess what, here's, um, Maybe you could say this is, you can go get old, old pictures of Dan fishing. So I moved it to my desktop. Hope it's there. And you can drag it in here. On my computer, it's not. This file isn't working. I'll just say this one. It's not Canvas fault. View image. It's a JPEG, so it should work. There. Sorry about that. That first image has some issues with it. But you can always go to the next one. So move the, get rid of these. Okay, so I drag that to the desktop. Let's say I want to use that. I literally drag it in here. This is like the area that allows you to upload stuff. You, you literally could just drag it. Drag it over here, here, and it says, it automatically moves from elements where we were to uploads the second you do that. Don't even have to think about it. So then I can drag this photo here and look, I can move it, resize. I take the, my mouse and I go like this. Let's resize the image and look, it's down here now. It's in a circle. Boom, just like that. Even go to elements, I can find frames for the picture. And then I can, I don't know. Like if I wanted it to be a circle, I wanted them to be in a circle. There's two circles, I want them to be in the third circle. So I literally can put this down. No, I don't really like that circle. Um, or this frame. I'd rather do the frame. So literally that, and then I want his photo in that. Literally snap it there. See, as soon as I bring the photo there, it snaps in. That's all it is, drag the photo on there. And I'm gonna drag this like this. There he is, there's Dan, he's fishing. Dan's fishing party. There. You can make him a little bigger. Now that I move the text up. There we go. Boom, that looks awesome. And literally to download it, all you do is hit, and just to let you know, it's already saved. There's no file hit save, and none, it saves all the time. See, actually, let me make it bigger. All changes saved. Just look up there and see it says that. It literally says that pretty much every time I do something. So all the changes have been saved. No saving, and then I'm gonna show you. You hit download. I recommend if you're gonna print this, it even says print recommended to do PDF, and PDF you can print anywhere, on any computer, 
every computer has a PDF reader, at least a very simple, 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 basic PDF reader. If you need it for a website, I would say JPEG if you need it for a website or photo quality paper or per se. Uh, and PNG is only for logos. It's for stuff you need transparent. You'll almost never need this unless you need a logo for your website or you need a logo. Only reason you would ever need PNG um, or you need stuff with the alpha channel. I won't try to get into that. That's a little bit above what I'm trying to discuss with you today. So you can do different stuff. You can add text boxes too by going to text. So everything is here. You can search for photos. Usually they charge, but as I said, you can just get them from somewhere else and drag them in. Um, you can get these layouts here. Elements, text, you can get different background colors and styles. This is more if you didn't come and do a template, you wanted to start from scratch your own template. But we kind of already got one, don't really need this. So, and then uploads is all, you click uploads. This is every upload I've ever uploaded. It's all here. That's all here. And so, um, do you, you can even order prints. You share this, you just share it to someone. Embed it like in an email somewhere. Fine. Or you could hit download. And so you hit download and downloads to your downloads folder. So that's what that does. Okay. When you're done, you can go just click Canva. It will show your account. And look, there it is. There is the design that I made. This is some of the other ones I tried. This is actually, I did this in the video, an earlier video before <laughs> that I messed up in. Um, literally, this is a logo I made. All this stuff is stuff you, you can make here on um, Canva and it saves, it. everything saves to this area. It's the main page you go to. So if you hit, boom. First page it's gonna go to is here. And then you got sword templates, you can go here. You need, I don't know, certificates or menus, letterheads, everything is here. Um, postcards, I want Christmas, I want to make my own Christmas postcard this year, it's coming up. There you go. One with Eiffel Towers for my French family or whatever. So that's it, that's Canva in a nutshell. I hope you learned a lot and you will use Canva. It is amazing. It looks a lot better than anything Microsoft Work and or any of those other softwares can put out. I, I literally think it is, it is it's amazing and it's, it's easier, especially if you're coming from Photoshop. It's pretty challenging to use Photoshop. So, hope you learned a lot today. That is the first lesson for JCT and, our, and the learning training sessions. Hope you have a good day.